In just one week, Power was released and it broke the internet. But some of you might have questions as to how it was able to. In this video, I will present you all with how Power World was able to achieve this feat, being out juggernauts of gaming such as Pokemon and Call of Duty in sales and concurrent players, as well as the controversies that have led to the game receiving even further publicity. Before this video starts, however, I'd like you to let you all know that I make similar videos on Power World, such as this one here, as well as challenges such as Nuzlocke's. If that's the content you're interested in, please subscribe, it's free, it greatly benefits the channel and helps me provide even more content for you. Watch that as well, leave a like and comment too, once the video is done, let me know what your favourite part was, or something else that could have been included. Power World has become notorious for being a Pokemon clone, with powers that are, whilst very clearly unique, are inspired of Pokemon. So does Pengalette being inspired by Piplup or Kremis being Gigantamax Eevee, of which, to be honest, it does look almost identical to it, this has led to many questions from the internet, however. One of these being, is Power World breaching copyright infringement of these copyrighted characters being Pokemon? Leading to numerous outrages on X, formerly known as Twitter, with Biofrog accusing Power World's dev team, Pocket Pair, of directly ripping models from Pokemon. With minor alterations to them to be considered copyright free, using models such as that of Dire House and comparing it to Lycanroc, of which, whilst very similar, are most certainly different enough to be free from any copyright issues. Of which, if I'm being asked, these are just wolves, you can't do much about it, Nintendo doesn't own wolves as an animal, wolves are very simple animals, you can't really change them that much. A few days have settled, and the tweets gained ridiculous amounts of traction. All for the wrong reasons, however. If you defended Pocket Pet, you were honestly in the good bunch, but for those who didn't, whilst giving the game free publicity, helping it reach over 1 million concurrent players on Steam, Topping the Steam sales charts, and it's gone above games that have just released with millions of fans, such as Persona 3 Reloaded, but the game's truly divided the internet. Will you even believe that Power World was safe from a cease and desist from Nintendo for taking their concept and merging it with Ark? To make what is honestly a really good game, or were you in the bunch that deserved to be named and shaped? Pokepair are a very small indie dev company situated in Japan. They're known for making games similar to existing games. Their last project, Craftopia, was essentially a multiplayer Breath of the Wild. They had a smaller dev team, however, for Power World. With just a budget of $10,000, according to the lead developer, they needed to produce an open world survival game with a team that had never used Unreal Engine before. But the game was an absolute smash hit. It's commonly known as Pokemon Gun, and it's been exploding trend searches and leading it to trend on almost every social media platform in existence. Now, with small indie companies, as a community, we normally back them. However, with the backlash from the release of Power World, some people have taken it too far. Not only did the game break the internet, it broke the dev team's mental state. Takuro Mizobi came out and stated that currently we are receiving slanderous comments about our artist and seeing tweets that appear to be death threats. This is all just because the game links to being similar to Pokemon in a way that's not just, oh, you can catch creatures and balls and make them battle. Harassing anybody is not acceptable in any form especially when the goal of the person is to entertain without causing any harm. Speaking of harm, however, we can talk about AI and how it certainly divided opinions on the internet, but how does that all link back to Power World? At the time of recording and writing this video, this has since been debunked, but it was a massive talking point for the first week of Power World's release. Is the game AI generated, and is it ethical to play the game, when AI is used to line the pockets of others whereas real artists are harmed in the making? When Power World launched, everyone looked at the somewhat realistic environments with the cartoony, almost out of place character models and designs, of which was simply just the direction the game chose to go in, but it wasn't met without comments. A large portion of the Twitter community used an out of context tweet by the developer about BuzzFeed utilising AI and NFTs on their platform, which was taken, spun in a way that says, look, they used AI to make this game, this game's unethical to developers and deserves to be boycotted immediately. As we of course now know, this was just a ploy made to get attention, and we're very aware of how many people have tried to get powered under shade to kill off. Sorry, Burmy Lover 484 your takes are as bad as your favourite Pokemon. Elements and Powered have yet to face any controversies, at least to my knowledge, but I will bring this up anyway. Powered has nine types, Neutral, Dark, Dragon, Ice, Fire, Grass, Water, Electric and Ground. Funnily enough, these are all in Pokemon 2, but most type related games do have this. Neutral and Normal, while sharing different names, do have very, very similar icons. In fact, Ground is just the same but flipped, and Dragon has an extra scale off the head. Now, this is very clearly inspired by Pokemon, and could easily stir something up resulting in a dire outcome for Pocket Pair. It's what I'm sure most of you think, however, what can you really do with these designs for icons for types? Like, come on! What do you expect, a rain crowd for the water type? 
actually, that'd be kind of cool. I'm stealing that one for myself. However, the elements in Power World sharing similar icons and names to Pokemon is definitely a talking point to mention. Is this technically copyright infringement? Personally, I don't think so. However, it will definitely be a talking point in the future for Power World, and it very easily could lead to even further controversy for Power World in the future. Finally, Power World had gained so much attention that the Pokemon company themselves released a statement, not directly addressing Power World, but clearly implying it. The following statement. We have received many inquiries regarding another company's game released in January 2024. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world, and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. Now whilst not being clear, it is very obvious that this is addressed towards Powered and Pocket Pair, potentially hinting at a lawsuit because the game blew up so quickly that the Pokemon company now feels threatened. So we could come to the conclusion that this will result in a court case of which Power World should win in. These designs are mostly original, do not use models of pre-existing Pokemon, and are all unique enough that they could at most be considered parody, of which under the Copyright and Patents Act of 1998, Power World follows, fair dealing of a work with the purposes of caricature, parody, or patiche, does not infringe copyright in the works. However, to the extent that a term of a contract purports to prevent or restrict the doing of any act which, by virtue of this section, would not infringe copyright, that term is unenforceable. Now, if this escalates to a court case, it most likely would be held within domestic Japanese courts, where parody and fair use laws are not included. On the contrary, however, due to the global scale of the product as well as differentiation with power being an open world survival, more so like Ark Survival Evolved, a court case of now seems very unlikely to actually occur. And since the statement was released, there has been nothing else about this potential lawsuit. But that is how Powered broke the internet in just one week. Thank you all for watching. If there was anything wrong with the video that I said, please correct me in the comments. It would generally be beneficial to help enhance this content even further for your entertainment. If you enjoyed it enough and are still here watching, thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more like this, and I'll see you all next time.